Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to share five keyboard shortcuts to paste values in Excel. Now, most of these will be for Windows, but I will also share a Mac shortcut as well. The first one we're going to look at is Alt ESV Enter. So we're just going to select this range here. It does contain some formatting and also some formulas. Just hit Control C on the keyboard to copy it. And then I'll go over here, and the first shortcut is Alt ESV. So we're gonna press and release Alt, then E and then S. That'll bring up the paste special menu. And then right here we have these underlined letters which are accelerator keys. Here's the option for values. I'll click V or hit the V key to select that. And then if I hit the enter key that will press the OK button and paste the values right here. And of course, I should mention that when we paste values, we're removing all of the formatting and formulas from those cells, and we're just pasting, pasting the numeric values or the text uh, from the cells or the range that we copied. Now, if you're using the Mac, you can use Control Command V to open the paste special menu. And then from there, you can hit V and enter to do paste values. And on Windows, Control alt v will also open the Paste Special menu. I just find that combination kind of difficult to press with my fingers, so I usually use Alt-ES instead. And then, of course, you still have to press V and Enter. So the next shortcut is Alt-HVV. So we'll go over here. We still have this copy to the clipboard. And if press and release the Alt key, then press the H key. That'll get us to the Home tab up here on the ribbon. And then we press V. That'll show the Paste Special menu here. And then V is the accelerator key here for values. So Alt-HVV is another way to paste values. The next one we'll look at is menu key plus V. So this is probably the shortest combination. Again, I still have my range copied. So I'll just go to this cell here. And the menu key is located to the right of the space bar on most keyboards. Laptop keyboards, however, typically don't have a menu key. But if you're lucky enough to have a menu key on your keyboard, you can just press and hold the menu key and then press the letter V and that will paste values. And the menu key is actually, when you press and release it, it's bringing up the right-click menu and then we're just pressing V here for the accelerator for values so menu key plus V probably the fastest way to paste values if your keyboard has a menu key and I do have an article on the best keyboards for keyboard shortcuts for Excel I'll put a link to that in the description below this video and it gives some tips on finding the best keyboards including the keyboard that I use so next we'll look at how to set up a custom keyboard shortcut on the quick access toolbar. So right up here on my quick access toolbar, I'm gonna hit this little drop down and then go to more commands. That'll open the Excel options window from the quick access toolbar. And then from here, from the commands, I'm going to choose all commands. And then you can just click in here, hit P on the keyboard to jump down to the P options. And then we're gonna scroll down and find paste values. So here it is right here. I'm going to click add to add that uh, to my quick access toolbar and now i'm also going to move it up to the first position you can move it up to any of these positions here i like the first position for this go ahead and click ok and then we'll have our paste value button right here so of course you could use this with the mouse but if you press and release the alt key you can also then press the one key on the keyboard to paste values so for right over here in our spreadsheet i'll just select this cell going to hit Alt-1 on the keyboard, that will now paste values. So that's a very quick way to do it as well. Just requires a little bit of setup work to add that button to the quick access toolbar. But once you do this one time, it will always be available for you in Excel. Only drawback here is if you go use someone else's computer, they might not have this set up. And when you hit Alt-1, it might do a different action. So the next shortcut we'll look at is control V, control V. That's right, I didn't stutter there. We're actually gonna press control V twice. So I'll press control V once right here. And of course that'll paste everything, including my formulas and formatting. And as you can see down here, we get this little paste options button or menu right here. And, is, and there's a control shortcut for this. So if I press and release the control key again, we'll get our paste special menu here. And V again will be the accelerator for paste values. So I'll press V on the keyboard and that will paste values. So again, you just press control V, press and release control and then V and then that will paste values. 
Another option is to create a macro to paste values and assign a keyboard shortcut to that. One limitation there is you typically lose the undo history when you perform that action or run the macro. However, I have developed an add-in called Paste Buddy, and once you install it, it'll be here on the Excel Campus tab of the ribbon. And here's the Paste Buddy window. And you can see this allows you to set up custom keyboard shortcuts for any of the paste special commands. So I've set up this keyboard shortcut Control Shift V to paste values. You can choose any of the paste options here. You can also choose the operations like add, subtract, multiply, transpose. And then once you have that set up, I could just go here into the spreadsheet. I'm going to hit Control Shift V on the keyboard that will paste my values. You use a bit of a workaround there to uh, use the send keys method to actually do the paste. And therefore we also retain the undo history. I can hit, I can hit control Z on the keyboard to still undo that. So I'll put a link in the description below this video where you can learn more about the paste buddy add-in as well. And I'm curious to know which of these shortcuts is your favorite or which you use or which you're going to use now that you've learned these. So please leave a comment right below this video and vote for the number that you like the best. Of course, there's no right answer here. It'll just be fun to see which is the most popular. And if you have an alternative method, please leave a comment with that as well. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.